A word from the Almighty, and it comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 17, and it says, Cast shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. The Lord bless his word. This is a word the Lord has sent me to you. And it's a revelation about a curse. If you read the beginning of uh, Deuteronomy 28, it talks about the curses that shall befall the children of Israel as a result of disobedience. This is true to us too. You know, the Bible is a letter, love letter from God to us, telling us how to live, how not to live. And in its original language, the word basket, which is in Hebrew, uh, is teni, which means in all a receptacle for products of soil. And the other one, the kneading bowl, is mishereth, in the original sense of swelling a kneading trough. That is where you put dough for cooking cake or bread uh, before it rises. So we talk about the basket. That's the products of the soil. That's where uh, you put what you harvest. And in our day-to-day sense, that is where we put the fruit of our labor. That is money. Where's your bread basket? And the kneading bowl is where you store this money for you to grow your investments. So, the Lord Almighty said, shall be cast if you do not follow his ways. For, so, for some people, you may be having a lack of enough money. Yes, you have money, but it doesn't help you because your basket is cast. You have this money but after you get pay or after two days or a couple of days after payday it's gone and for someone else who is even paid less than you his or she is able to use this money to achieve more than you i've seen people with less income having property having thriving businesses over time while others who have more that does not happen it's never enough and the needing ball which we said is where you store the fruit of your labor. That's your savings and investments. For some, it grows. For some, they just start. And after a little while, needs appear out of nowhere. And you have to withdraw that uh, investment or savings and use it all. So ask yourself, does your money help you? You know, it's not for everyone. For some, you may lose your work or job or money uh, as, as a trial to trust in the God, for, but for most people because God, our God is our God of increase He's not there for you to suffer or to live paycheck to paycheck, at least not forever, could be at the start, but He's a God of progress you know, His promises are yes and amen in Jesus Christ so ask yourself, have, have I increased with the income that I've gotten? Or could there be a curse? What kind of curse is that? It could be as a result of a, a generational curse, which the Bible details goes the third and fourth generation. All you need is to pray. And you can talk to us, we'll pray for you to break that generational curse and declare that it ends with you. Uh, others, it could be because of disobedience, as detailed in Deuteronomy 28. If you disobey God, if you do not do what is right, break his commands, you are an adulterer, you are a thief, you, you do things that are not pleasing in the eyes of the Lord, you disobey the Holy Spirit. Then, that will be cast. What? Your provision and your investments and your savings. And there's hope. You can also go to the courts of heaven if you do not know about this subject. Just type Yes, I want to know, and I'll do a series on that, or you can contact us, we'll pray to you. you no, know, the enemy is the accuser of the brethren. Whatever you do, he goes to God and accuses you, and your blessings are blocked. It, it's very clear in the Bible. And so I pray, if you're going through financial hardships, think long and hard. The word says, my people perish due to lack of knowledge. And if you have knowledge, then you have power then you'll be able to do something about your situation. I hope the message of today has been insightful to you. God bless.